On August 14th, Darkness Ablaze will release, bringing with it Pokemon that know the Mad Party attack. Mad Party is literally the exact same attack as Night March, letting you do 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon that know that attack in your discard pile. However, Mad Party has one distinct advantage over Night March. There are only three Night Marchers, with Joltik, Pumpkaboo, and Lampint, while there are going to be four Mad Partiers. Sure, Joltik can use Electro Power to boost the damage, but it's likely Night March's days are numbered, especially with the Psychic Mad Partiers having access to Spell Tag and Horror Psychic Energy, and Bunnelby is going to be able to use that, you know, damage boosting special energy for colorless Pokemon. So this might be the last couple of months for Night March. Let's take it for one last spin. All right, so I have the advantage. Hopefully that's a good sign. Uh, and with Night March, you never want to go first. You always just want to attack. Uh, and if you go first, you might just have something like a Joltik or a Pumpkaboo stranded in the active and you can't do anything after that. So you always want to go second. Okay, so it's Celesaur. Um, are they going to be playing like the, the, the Lorantis that boosts the damage? Oh, they got Fighting Fury Belt. That is not good. Silent Lab, that's even worse. Okay. Maybe I don't want to go second. Um, not a whole lot I can do. Actually, there's a ton I can do. Never mind. So I'll just double lamp in. Uh, which supporter do I want to use? Well, I can't use teammates, so it looks like I'm using Sycamore, which is actually really good. So despite what I thought would be a bad turn, it's actually turned out pretty good. And I don't know if it looks blurry to you, but the game kind of looks blurry to me. Uh, do I want to just get rid of another Shaman? Nah. The game looks a little bit blurry to me. That's because I had to change the settings a little bit earlier, and apparently, apparently every time I change the settings, it goes blurry. So if it's looking a little blurry, I'm sorry. That's just what happens every time I change the volume in the game. I don't know why. Um, this is interesting. So I, I can, yeah, oh, this is tough. Because I can bump the stadium. I think I'm going to bump the stadium. I have another battle compressor. So if I comp search, Okay, this is this is a little tricky here. So I want to comp search those guys. Go get, whoa, don't get that. I need either Field Blower or Dimension Valley. Uh, do I even have Field Blower? I do, but I think, oh no, Field Blower is much more important because I can actually get the knockout this turn. Uh, I was gonna save this talking point for the end, but I did hit 300 damage earlier today uh, on turn one against the Zacian. It was pretty crazy. Uh, I'll just get the Shaman. And this is why Expanded is so nuts, is that you can just pretty much draw through your deck on turn one, and this could be crazy if I get it. Um, I already supported this turn, right? Okay, so I'll just put the double, nope, the twin energy. I'm going to save the double colorless just in case. Uh, where do I want to attach the Pumpkaboo? All right, well, I say I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try and show you guys what this deck is capable of. Uh, I'm just going to get Joltik. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go... I will need a scoop up net. That's the only problem here. So how many scoop up nets? I have three scoop up nets and I haven't even seen one yet. I can totally do this. So I'll put the twin energy on the Joltik. And I'm just going to go for it. I just need a scoop up net here. Okay, there's one. Uh, I hope this is an ultra ball or something. That's not great. Um, I don't really want to get anything. Okay, this could be, this could go downhill real fast. Uh, well, actually, hang on. Okay, so I just did the math and I'm at 230. So unfortunately, I'm a little bit short. So I will have to use the shaman again. Uh, I really wish that trainer's mail got me an ultra ball or something. There, and I just don't quite make it. Well, hopefully they uh, they don't got it. 
So I was just, I was a two card combo short. Uh, well, actually, I, if I had started a Joltik instead of the Pumpkaboo, I would have won because I would have been able to thin out the Pumpkaboo uh, with Battle Compressor or something, and then Joltik would have been in the active, and that would have been a perfect 270 with the Muscle Band. So I actually had the win if I just started Jolt Joltik instead of Pumpkaboo. And getting back to that uh, earlier game, yeah, they started Zacian V, put a frying pan on it, and passed. And I started Joltik that game and just drew through my entire deck. You know, basically what you just saw now is what I did, except it went a little bit better. And, you know, I field blowered their uh, frying pan. I got, you know, two electro powers. I even prized two electro power, and I still got two. You know, muscle band just helps out a little bit. And yeah, I was able to do 300 damage turn one, and that was still prizing two electro power. You know, I, as you can see, you can whiff at certain points and it goes horribly, but okay. Uh, do I want to, I guess I just get this out of my deck. I can get, do I want the teammate? Do I already have a teammates in there? I do not. So I want the teammates in there. I want uh, the Ultra Ball, I guess, because I don't need the Ultra Ball. Uh, I ditched my Rescue Stretcher. So yeah, you're sort of seeing what's going to go wrong if you if you try to go a little crazy early on here. Uh, I still have the Dimension Valley. So I can knock out the Lele. Uh, or I can retreat. what am I doing here? Did I don't have the Electra Power? I, I'm just sort of, you know, I can go really crazy right now and Versus Seeker for a Sycamore and get the knockout on this Celebi Venusaur and then just pretty much lose from there. Uh, but I think the safe play is using Guzma on the Lele. You know, I, I think I've lost this one. I don't think I got it. Uh, I just, I went a little too crazy. You know, there's 220. I had the Electro Power last turn. Yeah. I, I ditched my Stretcher. I should probably concede, but I mean, you never know, right? It was just a Glycopod. So I might actually win this. Um, what do I need? I'll need Dimension Valley, and I don't think I have another Muscle Band. Okay, so they're preparing for next turn. But yeah, I don't. I don't think I got it. So I'll send up the Pumpkaboo. Well, Trainers may I'll probably get the D-Valley now. Uh, there's a Sycamore. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, can I actually figure my way through this? Okay. Um, I still don't think I stand a chance here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Guzma the Delisopod Switch into the Shaman. Uh, great Catcher, that guy. Uh, I'll ditch the DCE. I'll Sky Return. I still think I don't got it, but no, that actually, I should be, I should have, uh, yeah, that's 220. No, it was the Muscle Band. So, yeah. I think I'll just concede right here. I don't think I did the math correctly. Uh, the only way I could do anything here is if I sky returned again, but I don't think I can do that. You know, maybe they whiffed an energy. I mean, it's possible. I really should have conceded, you know, five minutes ago when I didn't get it, but okay. There's, okay, that's 100% concede. They got it. Congrats. I'll go to game two. And I'm facing Turdinator. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, obviously, if I played a little more conservatively in the previous game, I probably would have won. Uh, if I had, if I just saved that Rescue Stretcher or just not gone completely for it, it probably would have been a win. But, you know... I wanted to have an exciting game, and clearly I failed at that. 
and they're going first. That is a mistake. And this is the starting hand you want with Night March. I mean, look at this. I have comp search, I have trainer's mail, so I can just comp search for a shaman, uh, shaman, stupid backup, and single prize versus single prize. That's not fun. Um, leave your uh, comments below. Do you want me to continue this match or not? Well, actually, this, is, this isn't a live stream, so that wouldn't really matter. Uh, I think I'll try you know i can easily win this one in the in the single prize versus single prize matchup it's basically whoever gets the first knockout because you just trade knockouts back and forth you know they're not gonna i mean the only time they can do something crazy is if they played like fresh ram and zekrom and end resolve and a whole bunch of fire energy but i highly doubt that's gonna happen you know if i leave a shaman exposed yes but I'll, if, as long as i never do that i'll be fine because uh, what'll happen is, yeah, they can't even do anything next turn. Because, yeah, uh, I don't really need the electrical power. Uh, I guess I just trainer's mail first to see what I want to do. There's a dimension valley. That's interesting. Uh, what do I want? Yeah, quick wall versus seeker, dimension valley. I think I just go for a quick ball here because I don't want to use the Dimension Valley this early. You know, if I had trainers mailed before, maybe, but you never know. Okay, uh, I'll quick ball the Electro Power, just go grab another Joltik. Okay, I do need to get one thing off this. Actually, I need to get two Night Marchers. I need four in the discard pile to knock out this Pikachu. And then I'll need six. I'll need six to knock out a Raichu. Uh, this is dicey. Ultra Ball. Oh, wait. Ultra Power. Um, both kind of serve the same purpose. Uh, the Guzma is not really going to be important, so I think I just go for the Ultra Ball. Okay, so get rid of those two. Yeah, and the reason Guzma is not going to be important is because, you know, what are they going to do? Uh, put something down that's worth knocking out? Not really, right? Okay, I don't know if I want to grab a Shaman. I do have two more Scoop Up Nets, but if I grab a Shaman, that's bad. I think I just honestly get nothing. Uh, well, what's my Quick Ball? I got two Quick Ball. I don't really have a way of discarding. I have so two Quick Ball. Dark breath, yeah, I think I just do nothing. I scoop up the shaman, hope that I get a battle compressor and a shame or a battle compressor and a scoop up nut off this. Well, that's uh, that's good enough. Okay, so worst case scenario is that I leave a shaman ex exposed, and guess what I've done? I have left a shaman ex exposed, and it's weak to lightning. The silver lining here is that they can't knock out a Shaman on their turn because they didn't put an energy down, they didn't do anything. You know, the most they can do is 20 damage uh, unless they just go crazy with Electro Power. But odds are they're going to generate some Snuggles and probably pass to me so I can jump ahead. So even if they uh, knock out a Shaman, I should be fine because I'm taking two. As long as I don't bench another Shaman, <laughs> I'll win. And I do have to get some things. You know, I'm pretty much halfway through my deck, and I haven't seen a Battle Compressor or a Versus Seeker. That's super sketchy. And I'm just going to grab a Skyla, and I don't think I'll be in a position where Sky Return's a good idea, because I'm going to be burning through these Dual Ticks pretty quick. You know, I need to take... Assuming they snuggly generator, that's an interesting card to go grab. Did they just not have any energy? This deck plays like 16 energy, that's unfortunate. Uh, and doesn't look like they do much. Do Okay, they have the energy, all right. 
It doesn't look like they have much else in terms of expanded cards, you know, besides Mess Ball, what else do they have? Okay, there's a teammate, so that is perfect. I think I'm pretty much just going to be on cruise control from this point on. Because uh, they'll knock me out. I can... Am I worried about anything? You know, I think I should just bench the Joltech just to be safe. Um, what something hilarious that could happen is if I get enough Electro Powers, I can use Gnaw. I can send up a zero energy Joltik up front. Because Thunder Mountain's in play, Gnaw is a free attack. So if they send up someone weak enough, I could just Gnaw and take a knockout, which would be absolutely hilarious. But I guess I should talk about a few of these cards. Pokemon Ranger, remove all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon. Uh, that's ADP. They use Altered Creation. You play Pokemon Ranger, it removes the effects of that attack, I'm assuming. I don't really know what else you'd want to use for that, but I'm pretty sure it stops the GX attack. Uh, target Whistle, pretty straightforward. Put a basic from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. So if I wanted to, I could put the Pachirizu there, but I'm assuming they're just going to grab a Pikachu. Uh, and teammates, it's basically Rosa, but a lot better. And they're taking out the Shaman, that's totally fine. You know, I think, honestly, they would have been smarter to wait until the end, but they know I'm playing Scoop Up Net, so I guess, I guess they kind of had to do it. But, I mean, look at this, I'm going to have a ton of Shaman, and there's, or sorry, a ton of Joltik, and there's not a whole lot they can do. Uh, I don't play Special Charge. I just up the count of Twin Energy. Okay, so I'll just put the Pachirizu on their bench, just to sort of hurt them a little bit. Uh, yeah, and those, these three just need to be in the discard pile, so I'll grab the Battle Compressor and... Um, I guess Sycamore? Sycamore's probably the safe bet here. Uh, yeah, I don't play Special Charge. Usually, usually Night March plays, you know, two Special Charge and four DCE, but thanks to Twin Energy, you can just get rid of the Special Charge, and you're totally fine. Uh, and as soon as I get rid of these guys, I think, I think that's it. I'll double check. I just need six Night Marchers, and I have seven. Okay. So, they did show me the Guzma. They have Nest Ball, so they are playing an expanded list, but... I guess I just have to hope they don't have something like Enhanced Hammer. Uh, and it is time for a Night March. And usually, if you see someone piloting a Night March deck and they have four Joltik on their side of the field, something has gone horribly wrong. Uh, unless you're in a single prize match. And there's a Bolton, that's, that's fine. There's Rosa. So I think they just took like a, a standard, standard build of the Nuzzle deck and just threw in a couple expanded cards. You know, I think, I think Night March is better than the Nuzzle deck just because you don't have to use that turn of Snuggly Generator. You know, assuming that everything goes perfectly, uh, if I'd gone first and they'd gone second and their first turn was using up a Snuggly Generator, uh, I'd still be in a very good position because they would have snuggly generated that wouldn't have taken a knockout and then i would have just taken you know six turns in a row i'd taken a knockout they play super scoop up what in a nuzzle deck what else you what are you hiding there's something they're hiding in this deck there has to be something crazy in this deck that they're hiding okay so as long as i see an energy at some point i will win because i need to take three more knockouts there's Battle Compressor, and there's an Energy. Uh, I don't care about the Thunder Mountain being in play, I don't think. But then again, what if they're hiding something that needs Thunder Mountain? Uh, yeah, I think that would be the safest thing. I'll put the Dimension Valley down. And Battle Compressor late in the game is really good because you can do things like this and just get rid of cards you don't need. So I think I just... 
I need the energy, uh, the muscle band. Sure, may as well keep that. Uh, N, I definitely don't need, and the scoop up net, I don't need. I also don't need a few of these other things. So I'll do that too. Okay, so electro power, sure. Field blower, sure. Great catcher. Quick ball, I don't need. Uh, Lysander, I don't need. And rescue stretcher. So I think the rest of the things are fine. I'll, I'll keep the electro power just in case. Uh, and I'll night march. Because assuming everything goes fine. Uh, I mean, they're taking a knockout. I think that puts me at 10 Night Marchers, and that's a perfect KO on a Bolton. So that should just be game. Because the good thing about Night March is that if your opponent takes a knockout, they actually, that's fine, they actually do, they help you. They increase the damage of Night March. And they're just building up their damage. And they're shuffling back in. Okay. But I think... I think I've shown off Night March pretty well. I might try a game three, and if it doesn't go well, I won't put it in the video. But you know, Night March, back in the day, this was the first deck I ever saw success with in Expanded. You know, it won me countless Expanded tournaments back in the day. And back then, I was playing, I think, a couple copies of Marshadow GX, but that was before everyone played Alolan Muck and Silent Lab and before Power Plant was even a thing. All right, so I have 10, so that is a perfect knockout. So I will just Lysander. So it's kind of sad to see Night March basically going away. You know, Mad Party, I know it doesn't have access to Electro Power, but it does have a bunch of other cards that are really good. Let's see, what was my biggest attack? 210. Their base attack was 280. Yeah, so it'll be kind of sad. I, I don't see Night March surviving. You know, the Bunnelby with Mad Party has 40 hit points. I know that's not a lot, but it is something. And just the fact that there's four more Mad Partiers than there are Night Marchers, that's going to be a huge thing. Because I think you saw it kind of in this game, is I prized a couple Night Marchers, and that really hurt my explosiveness. So just that extra consistency of four more Mad Partiers, and yeah, I, I think this might be the last time I play Night March. But you know what? Let's try a game three. It'll probably be horrible, but you, you won't know unless you try, right? Let's go for it. Game three, here we go. There's a lot of stuff going on in my opponent's deck. Uh, it'd be pretty funny if it was Mewtwo. And I definitely don't want to go first. But if I had to guess, I'd say I'm probably playing against Mewtwo. Um... This isn't a horrible starting hand. If it is Mewtwo and they just start a Mewtwo and nothing else, I could win. And there's a Galarian Ponyta. And they have a town map. All right, let's see what they're playing. It is a poison deck. Does anyone want to see me face a poison deck? And there's my little pony. Okay, things are getting interesting. I have no idea what I'm truly facing. It might just be an expanded box deck where it's just a whole bunch of different cards and something will probably do well against me. Okay, that's a pass. I really wish my active was a Joltik because I could just, you know, there's a chance I just knock this out. Okay, so I think first things first, I have Battle Compressor, uh, some things. I'll get rid of the two. Oh, I prized, prized two lampant. That's unfortunate. Uh, and do I want to just go and get a sycamore? Sure. I think I do. <laughs> I think I do a repeat of what I tried before, and I just go for it. I'm totally knocking out that mega low pony this turn. There's nothing, nothing that'll stop me. I don't care if I have to ruin the rest of my game. I am definitely getting it. All right, so there's the Sycamore, so I can just uh, ditch that, get a Joltik. Sleeping Cloud's going to not know what hit him. They're going to they're gonna wake up it. They're going to get Night March. Uh-oh, I forgot about Dimension Valley. Um, that could be problematic. I 
think I just scoop up at the Pumpkaboo. Um, I should probably wait to use the Sycamore. Okay, so there's Muscle Van. Uh, Dimension Valley, sure. I may as well bump their stadium. And the reason I waited to Sycamore is because I figured I'll draw into something. Okay. And don't want to really field blow or anything. How many Night Marchers can I put in there? I can put in two more. Uh, and then the Joltik. All right, so what am I at? How many Electro Powers have I played? I've played one Electro Power. So I'm at 190. Uh, this will put me at 220. So I just need one more Night Marcher. Um, so I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna have to field blower my Dimension Valley, unfortunately. So I can't lose the muscle band. Uh, I can't really, using the rusty stretcher wouldn't help me at all. Okay. Come on, don't tell me I screwed it up again. Just give me a battle compressor. Yes. I am a psychic. Okay, so I just need one more in the discard. I hope I did the math right. Uh, if I didn't, who cares? Boom. There you go. I knocked out a tag team turn one with Night March. This is why the deck is so much fun. Uh, and as you'll notice, I didn't lose my rescue stretcher. So I can potentially not just straight lose this one. Uh, what's my versus seeker situation though? I'm down two, but I do have a Lysander. I got my three scoop of nets in the discard. Uh, that is rough. And it is a Mewtwo and Mew deck. And they play the Houndoom. That is not good. Okay. Um, there's a Oh, that is really not good. Please don't put me to sleep. Good. Okay, what do I do here? Cybolt? That's ten. Am I going... Oh, okay. Okay, things are bad. Uh, can't use Pokemon Ranger for anything. Um, I think I think I prized my Guzma. Um, do I just target whistle that thing? Um, okay, so this is not good. I can... Okay, Guzma is in there. That's perfect. So what I'll do is... Oh, no. I need... I need a Versus Seeker right now. So I'm going to have to go get a Shaman with the computer search. Uh, okay, this is going to get a little dicey. I think I put the Joltik in the discard pile. And then I put the Quick Ball in there as well. Okay, so I have... Oh, maybe I, maybe I should leave the Guzma in there. Um... Okay, this is, this is going to be bad, but I called it last time, right? I'm totally calling it this time. I'm getting everything I need. I need a Guzma. Uh, I think I have to... I think I have to get this Joltik, right? Yeah, because I had to... I can't pump kaboo the Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, sure. Let's, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I'll ditch the Pokemon Ranger. Actually, yeah, why, why did I think I needed to do all this crazy stuff? I could have just grabbed Guzma. Um, I still think I'll just go get a Shaman. Uh, yeah, sure. There's teammates, there's N. Uh, N does not help me at all. Lysander doesn't help me. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Uh, well, I'll just pass. <laughs> Who would have thought that a Galarian Ponyta and a Hypnotoxic Laser would be the thing that basically wins this game? What are they taking? Uh, two rainbows, a Quillfish. What did they take? Let me guess, a rainbow. They took 
I took a fire energy. That's interesting. Okay, so my entire game plan hinges on this Pumpkaboo not going down. As long as the Pumpkaboo doesn't get knocked out, as long as they don't use Enhanced Hammer, as long as they... Uh, I think they have to knock out the Shaman or something. Okay, they're just putting it in the active. They're going to get rid of two cards. That is... Uh, bad. Okay, they're going to try and deck me out. The deck... This deck does not play any switch effects. Um, I guess I shouldn't really thin the deck in case they have something else. Um, I guess I just put the DCE there and pass. This is dicey. So many things could go wrong right here. You know, the only the only good thing is if they Mercardo GX, that only discards five. But if they have Charizard GX plus Welder, that's 10. And I think I just won. I think I just won. That is insane. Go Night March. I am so glad I played game three. Uh, I'll put the list in the description. If you can, please take Night March for a spin one last time before Mad Party comes out. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video, which should be my final expanded deck for a while, and it'll be Trevenant Break.